Satellite design and manufacturing are unique in the sense that you never or rarely get to see your product operating in its intended environment. But luckily, we got inspired to change that for once. We have built thousands of satellites at Nanovionics over the years, and everything we know about them on the eye in space comes in graphs, quaternions and the lines of code. But on February evening in 2021, we were watching NASA's Perseverance rover making its descent back. through the Martian atmosphere and softly landing on the surface of Mars. The vacuum maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. The entire chain of carefully choreographed events was captured by the engineering cameras the rover and its sky crane had on board. It was breathtaking. That evening, we decided we had to see our satellite operating in space as well. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Next mission where we could possibly make this happen was already following a tight schedule, so our team had to tackle this challenge creatively in order to meet the launch. The MP42 mission took less than a year to develop, manufacture, test and launch, which is a short amount of time, especially considering it has payloads from four customers. To make sure we could deliver a selfie stick and a working 4K camera on top of that, we opted for a consumer camera with no extensive lead types that allowed us to start modifying, testing and integrating the camera with our satellite power and data interfaces right away. First, we stripped the camera to its bare essential electronics and made a slimmer housing that could protect the camera internals and provide thermal insulation for the camera components in the vacuum of space. Finally, once we performed all the environmental, thermal vacuum, electrical and software tests, the MP42 satellite was ready for its trip to space. Mission and liftoff of transport aboard. MP42, separation confirmed. The interesting part about deployable structures like the selfie stick is all the design considerations needed to make. Once the satellite is weightless, it needs less force to actuate its mechanism. As you can see, the selfie stick doesn't want to deploy here on Earth. Furthermore, when simulating the launch of the MP42 satellite on a vibration table, it experienced loads as high as 18 Gs, so we had to ensure that the long, skinny selfie stick could survive that as well. And obviously, its design had to take the picture's composition into account. Capturing the entire satellite was one thing, but we also wanted the satellite to be in line with Earth's horizon during a particular pointing mode. Every satellite mission operations start with a launch and early orbit phase called LEAP in short. During this time, we make sure every subsystem of the satellite is healthy and working. Once MP42 was confirmed operational, it was time for the selfie stick deployment. Together with other departments, we picked the time and location for the event, and after performing initial video recording tests, data was downlinked to the ground to confirm nominal camera operation. Our ADCS engineers prepared a command sequence for the attitude determination and control system. Slowly spin the satellite around its Earth pointing axis. So we ran an in orbit test to ensure MP42 would perform the intended maneuver with high accuracy and low control error as expected. Finally, we were ready to upload the deployment and recording sequence to the satellite and wait for it to pass above the Great Barrier Reef with a single chance to get everything right. Judging by the telemetry received during the following ground station pass, everything seemed to have worked flawlessly. Yet we still needed to wait for a few more passes to download more than 1 GB of video data. However, all that planning and waiting was well worth it in the end, since the footage came out perfect. Probably much like everyone at NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory during that one February evening in 2021, the only thing we couldn't prepare for was finally seeing the result of years of our work play out in front of us for the very first time. Apart from gaining a new perspective on our satellites in space, we also wanted this video to showcase the beauty of our planet and highlight the vulnerability of Earth's declining ecosystems. Satellites play an essential role in monitoring our environment and climate change, and we hope this exceptional view of the Great Barrier Reef, the only living organism visible from space, can inspire all of us to imagine a more inclusive future for all life on Earth.